Behind us, we have one of the craziest fishing spots. We have naturally occurring saltwater ponds. There's one problem with them. They're drying up right now, and there's just crazy fish inside of them. Now the thing is, I came back about a week later and I found that the water level in these saltwater ponds is dropping. When I realized the water level was lowering, uh, my heart kind of sank because there is a ton of fish back here and there's really only th one thing we can do, which is try and save these fish. All right, so here's the plan. We got this ice chest on a cart and we have water inside here with the bubbler. We're gonna put the fish in here and we're gonna transport them to some, some water that they can actually live in. I'm telling you though, man, when I first started fishing this spot, I felt like I was dreaming because it's freaking crazy. Saltwater ponds naturally occurring that have crazy fish on them. Now let's go check them out real quick. Let me show you what we're working with here. We're about to walk up to this super tiny, I don't know, you guys might think I'm lying. Everything I said so far is a lie, but we're walking up to this first pond right here. That little guy right there, believe it or not, right here, little canal that peters into nothing and right, right in here there's a bunch of saltwater fish. I caught a trout, I caught red and one black drum, but there's definitely more black drum in there. There's just no way they can live in a saltwater pond like that, that the water's level is just going down and down. They're gonna die if we don't do something. Now the crazy thing is, it's just not one pond. There's a whole series of these saltwater ponds and there's no telling how many fish are in there. I, if I had to guess, I'd say there's probably 50 reds, 100 trout, and who knows how many of whatever else there is. There's definitely a, a good population of black drum as well. The water was all the way up here, but look at this. We already have dead sheep's head, dead black drum, dead speckled trout, dead flounder right there, black drum, red fish right here. Did take one of those black drum from the other pond and put it in here because it was deeper. Hopefully he would live better in here. Oh, there's a, what the, <gasps> trout. Oh my God, he's chasing him. The freaking trout chasing bait. Oh, he got it, there he is. Look at that. Okay, this is gonna be our test subject right here. Sorry to say, Mr. Trout. Oh, well, we're gonna put him in the cooler and see if he can survive. This is the perfect one too. Not too big. Can you believe that? These tiny little saltwater ponds. There's there's some big fish in here, way bigger than this guy. All right, fella, he's in there. Whew. The thing is, like, who knows how hyper saline these little ponds are? I just want to make sure they can survive. <laughs> and if they can't, I mean, it's not looking good for them. Well, fellas, I hate to say it, those drum might be dead in here already. The water did drop a little bit and there's just a ton of dead fish on the outskirts. There's a couple of swells going on in here. I'm not sure if it's mullet. Maybe just those black drum did not want to eat anything, but we're gonna move on to the next pond. Second pond right here. There's definitely a lot. <laughs> this is a much bigger pond, right? So there's a good chance that there's some bigger fish in here. S some alive fish. Like there is a lot of bait in these ponds, but oh, there you go, bud! Right on the what is that? That's a flat boy. No way! There you go, dude. Okay, apparently there's flounder in here as well. That's sick. You can keep it if you want. I look kind of new. Well, it's nah. It's gonna be like five hours out here. Oh yeah. You can keep it if you want. 
I think you can just release that. Oh, there's a red right there, dude. Look at this. Watch this. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. This is insane. I'm telling you, this is insane stuff out here, boys. Look at this. He's got a flat boy in his hand. We just got a red cruising right here. Oh, and I lost him. But that's what it is. It's crazy fish. Do try and save those. There's a guy. Is there the trout? Dude, there's no telling what the hell is in here. I was even thinking there might be some friggin' tarpon. I mean, just everything you can imagine. This is a little trout. I'm telling you, there's some big ones. What was that? Oh, moly. Now, before we start trying to release all these fish, we need to see if that trout will survive. Oh, that's a red, boy. But he was still on. Look at this. This is insane, dude. I There's nothing. There's no other spot in the world like this. I'm telling you. Look at that. Let's go. See, there's no telling, dude. We're just ripping fish. We've been here two minutes and we're catching fish. There's no telling how many. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. In this little freaking pond. I don't understand, dude. I, this is mind boggling. See the reds. Look at that one, though. He's kind of a weird color, too. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I might, I had a fish on the whole freaking time. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> Dude, we're getting crazy bites. How many fish could possibly be in here? It's wild. All right, so we had this trout, little tiny trout we caught and we have him in the salt water. And it looks like he's still kicking in here. He's doing pretty good in here. So it looks like we will be able to transfer them in this uh, little ice chest. So for now, let's let this guy go in the bigger pond. If we can catch him. All right, little man, you're going in. Here you go, fella. Oof. All right, well, in that first spot, it looked like those fish are dead, man. Uh, that tiny, tiny little pond, that's the one I wanted to hit first and save those fish because there's just not much water there. But it looks like we got there too late. That second pond was pretty big though, so they should be all right for a little bit. I, I think I'm definitely gonna have to come back and see what we can do for this fish. But right now, we're on to the next pond. Oh my God, dude, the water dropped so much. This used to be all water. Yeah. All right, we're walking up to the next pond right here. And man, this dropped out big time. This is where there was schools of red, just super in shallow. Let's see if they're here this time. Man, see, last time I was here, this all had water in it. Now it's drying up big time, man. I think I see a school of reds. Let's see if the top water can find them. Man, this water is so much lower than it was before. Not good. I missed. Holy, there he is. Oh my gosh. Cannot believe they're fishing here. And he got it off. Okay. See there or not? Oh man, dang it. He ate it when you weren't looking. No, I got it. You got it? No way. Dude, there's, I, I, you won't believe how many reds are in here. There's probably 20, 20 plus. And I imagine if this was a trout, dude. Look at this, all this right here where I'm walking was, was water. And this guy is looking pretty thin, boys. Yeah, that's a pretty skinny freaking redfish, dude. That's not good. I don't know what to do, brother. There's just too many, too many redfish in there. And look at this guy. He's a skinny little redfish, not looking too good. There's no way these fish can survive in there for too much longer. For right now, this guy's gonna go in the holding tank. Yikes. All right, let's see if we can get another one. I, I, Usually, like the last two times I've been out here, you could just see the schools of redfish. Right now we have a little bit of clouds over the sun, so you can't exactly see them, but I know there's a lot here. Oh, what was that? I didn't even see that one. There's a trout. Oh, there's a red on it. There's red trying to eat it. Oh no, it's a red, tiny red. Woo, 
Little guy. All right. There's a fish on it. Oh. Oh, he's on it. What? What is this? Lady. I see him. All right, fellas, we got one. We got one red in here. He's still doing good, and we're gonna go release this guy to some bigger water. Well, fellas, I just had a terrible realization, man. It went from being pretty bad to probably absolutely hopeless. 